Be young, have fun. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, and I am your humble narrator. Welcome back to Life is Hard. We've done maybe three episodes of this one before, but it looks way, way significantly different. So we're going to see what changed as far as the gameplay goes. Probably not that much, but holy shit, things do look a lot prettier now. So let's start up a new game. Winter is near, don't forget to craft warm clothes. Yeah, I guess that's kind of, uh, goes without saying, doesn't it? Otherwise you freeze your balls off, or your tits off, if you're a woman. So, starts you out, you got some, uh, flags to choose from, which I think is really, really cool. Um, I'm partial to this skull-looking flag over here. I think it's not really anything aside from an aesthetic picking. So, uh, I'm gonna go with this sword, this crusader-looking flag. Welcome home, my lord. While you were away, we found the settlement as you ordered. Do you want to turn on the hints? Uh, I don't think I need hints. I played this game before, although things things might be significantly different. So, it looks like we're still picking a god. There are quite a few different uh, gods based on what I can remember. So we've got the god of architecture, darkness, nature, war, sun, and fertility. Oh, and look at that! They've even got their own specialized heroes, which is really fucking cool. So we've got a uh, druid for the god of fertility, paladin for the god of sun. Praise the sun! <laughs> Hashtag Dark Souls, bruh! Uh, god of war gets a demon. Ooh, that's pretty fucking cool. Uh, but I picked the, the crusader cross thing, so I don't think I'll do that. It's not a cross, it's a sword. Maybe god of war is good. Ah, we'll see. We'll see. There's a dryad for the god of nature. Oh, look at nature flourishes and blooms near the dryad. Interesting. She's probably not such a, a combat-oriented hero. Although I'm sure all of these characters have some sort of prowess in combat. We got the Death Knight. Hell yeah. He was my favorite in the uh, previous playthroughs and things like that. Seems like he makes every everything work better at night, so maybe that's a, a good thing. I think you can spawn a friendly skeleton when you kill something, or have a chance to, so that seems rather cool. Hmm, and he revives with full HP. Hmm, hmm, that's always nice. He basically gets two, two lives. And then we've got the Engineer. Hmm, powerful turret will take care of your enemies. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I think God of Architecture is what I will start with. Um, it's also what was suggested to me at the very beginning. The default, as it were. So let's see. Upgraded Town Hall at the start of the game? Great. Depending on the level of your God's grace allows your people to work faster? Great. People get tired slower? Awesome. People get an extra stone while picking? Oh, that's nice because mining, I remember, was a pain in the ass. God's grace is gained by building new structures and crafting. So, I guess God of Architecture is a fair pick. He looks like Thor in his little uh, thumbnail on the left there. So that's exciting. The adventure begins! Oh wow. Things look way fucking different now. Look at the little people. They're so well defined. They, they actually look uh, kind of more like people. Less like the little cartoons that they did. And the art style is just fucking breathtaking. I love the little hands on the clock spinning around. Everything looks way, way more polished than it did. Um, I'll have some getting used to as far as the new UI layout, but things are looking really, really nice. Let's see here. Uh, we could click on our minions portraits and assign them to new jobs. So we probably need some wood gatherers. Uh, we need to put somebody in the mine. Oh, I gotta select a new person. Okay. okay. A wood gatherer, a hunter, and then like a, a berry collector. Let's give that job to the woman. Go collect berries, woman. And then, um, we'll just have this guy hanging around, I guess. He'll go into the mine. That will be his job eventually. Okay. Get this, get this fucking tree out of the way, would ya? Somebody do something with this. East or west, home is best. We need to build a house. Let's see, different spells for faith points. Hand of Vitality, plant one tree for faith, damage enemies, heal one person, 
And then we need to uh, get the ancient altar to unlock that final spell. It sounds like some fighting's going on here. What are you doing? Upgrade minion's weapon. Yeah. Here's a bat. You should do a little better now. Bam! 12 damage instead of 3. Show that pig who's boss. Fuck yeah. And then she got some stuff. Let's uh, build that structure. I guess that's what that fella's gonna go do. But I want to see what this chick brings to the town hall with her pig. So we got two leather and one meat from her drop off. So that's rather nice. And then this guy's building up uh, pretty fast. Oh, we could we could fast forward things even more. My lord, the workers have found the strange item, silver glove, during the construction of the mine. One of them told me a legend about an ancient powerful artifact that was lost centuries ago, and it looked exactly like this glove. They say with its power you can resurrect people from the dead. Can you believe it? This glove is the mark of the greatest dwarven blacksmith. Would you let me study it in detail? Alright, so uh, our hero's holding a revival glove, so that's quite nice. And there you go, you're gonna go down into the mine. You built the mine, and now you get to work there until the uh, end of your miserable life. <laughs> oh! I'll probably get to uh, chop down one more tree. Yeah, go ahead and chop this tree down. And I hear more uh, combat going on this way. Look at this bitch! She's just fucking up all kinds of pigs. We got our rations here. Scarce rations, famine, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, flaying and harvesting speed is increased, higher chance to fall ill. I think we could do normal ration for now. Uh, we definitely need to get a farm or something like that going. Because we're only going to last for two days with normal rations. Whoop! Uh, rich rations, not, not quite rich enough for that yet, young folk. Uh, let's see what we can do as far as buildings. Oh, looks like just a house to start with. And the uh, placement of the buildings still a little bit awkward, but it'll do just fine. Somebody uh, get this get this shit going. Come on. And uh, we've got some quests here as well. Build a well. Most buildings won't function without a well. Oh, most unfortunate. I guess we should do that, should we not? Hmm. And it seems I've already got uh, some upgrades to the town hall so I can build lots of additional stuff, uh, traps and whatnot. So that's pretty nice. Although I'm a little lost in the menu at the moment. Um, where's the well? There it is. How about here? Right next to the, the city. The town hall. Yes, this will do quite lovely. Now, what are you doing? In the kingdom of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. Oh, look, she's sterile. That's so sad. Slower reproduction cycle. Has no experience in gathering, but she is a gatherer. So, go gather some shit. It's your job. Do your job. Or I'm gonna come down hard on you. Um, can destroy a building, industrial, I probably want some farm, get some farm going, oh god, I'm a little bit paranoid of uh, the skeletons and the vikings and all the stuff that may or may not be coming, w with how fucking different this game looks now, um, yeah, it's really hard to tell what to expect from it. It's really surprising, but also uh, something that I definitely am looking forward to. I always like a, a nice new surprise, and yeah, I'm just fucking shocked that this game is so vastly different from how it used to look. And there's the, the darkness, the edge of the wilderness over there. Look at my little guy with a gun. I'm glad I picked the guy with the gun. That's probably going to do way better than uh, some guy with a Crusader's Axe or whatever the hell else I had as far as options. Then again, what's better than a fucking Lord of Death? Come on. Come on, bro. Well, the deers are all the way over there. I think that chick is still killing him. Yeah, she's doing fine. 
My lord, looks like this environment's pretty dangerous here. Your champion may not cope with all these enemies alone. You may hire mercenaries to protect us. Whoa! Flash through the darkness. Hello, mercenaries. These guys uh, defended us from Nords before. It's quite lovely to see you again. Unfortunately, I'm not in need of your services quite yet. Just trying to get some shit cleared out. Hmm. Are you carrying wood? Yes. He's carrying the wood. Good man carrying the wood. Let's see, we got four vegetables, four bread, five meats. Mmm. Drugs. We need some drugs. Herbs. Mmm. We definitely need more spaces for farms and things like that. Who's this fellow with the top hat? Looking so fucking dapper. Eastern traders come to offer, offer goods. Hello, my name is Gabe Newman, and I sell hats. Ah, <laughs> oh, that joke is just as good as the first time I saw it, only this time he looks a, a bit more like Gaben. So I really like the art, art style upgrades. Dang. Selling hats, are you? This mask makes your people attack faster. Iron helmet's a good part of every warrior's outfit. Dwarven helmets are known worldwide for their quality. This helmet makes your people feel mysterious power inside. Fujo Da! <laughs> I know what you're referencing. I don't have enough, uh, whatever kind of gem that is. Is that the topaz? No, that's this thing, malachite. Malachites are used to create rings and wands. Oh, they all require a different sort. Unfortunately, I cannot afford any of them at the moment. Rubies are what I'm closest to, but... Sorry, Gabe Newman. It's not gonna happen. Not today. We've gotta continue chopping trees. This is my people's job. This is my people's job now. Um... There's a guy in the mine. I need somebody else chopping trees. Can, can you do that? She just took off from her fucking gatherer job. Whatever. People don't need berries. Fuck this shit. I'm going to take a break. Unacceptable. Do not do it. I need people to build. Chop these fucking trees down and build. And uh, it seems like the trees grow back kind of quick. This little one fucking sprouted up in no time at all. Hmm. Fascinating. Well, some good hunting over that way. I don't want to delve too deeply into the darkness. Let's just concentrate on building up the the defenses and whatnot because the the Viking hordes could stop by at any time, as they are wont to do, at least in my experience. Let's plan a little farm. Can we get a farm going? Doesn't seem like there's any room. Any room for farms. Oh man. Come on, man. I gotta start growing some food. Come over here, Mr. Engineer. Did you engineer that gun? That's a nice gun. Might want to straighten out the tubey a little bit though, you know. So your gun can shoot straight. Oh, there. You can build. Haha. -ha. Hire the worker. Yes, hire the worker. Don't fire the worker. She is good worker. She's going to make so many... Uh... Corns. Or herbs. Let's do corn. Little food, but a lot of seeds. But guess what? I got a lot of people, uh... Or not that many people, rather. <laughs> I don't have so many people working on the farm. Oh, I can't plant corn? How about pumpkins? How about herbs? Okay. Do the herbs then. <laughs> just click all, all the options and whichever one works? Yeah, I guess that, that that's just fine. <clears throat> I will say it's a little bit harder to tell what your workers are up to. Um, since they are significantly smaller than they were before. Let's have a look down in the mine, see what's going on down here. You having a good time? Huh? I think the shit embedded in the wall is like the rubies and topazes and whatnot that I need to collect in order to make better and better things. 
Hmm, yes. Mithril ore. Oh. So we must build a smeltery. Hmm. A workshop and a smeltery. We've got plenty of goods to do all, all the crap that we need to do. So get on it. Everybody get to work. Think I'm playing games with you? Oh, look at our little farmer lady. She looks more like a decrepit old woman now. I guess that's what farming will do to you, you know. Puts a, a short end on your life. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it enriches your life in some way. I've never been a farmer. <laughs> oh, can somebody come and build this, this smeltery? That would be quite nice. I would approve. Oh, everybody's going taking logs back. And here's my, my farmer lady. Doing what she's supposed to do. Good jab. Oh, they don't move while I'm in the menu. I guess that's helpful. Okay. Here, build this. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Great. Good job. We'll have a smeltery in no time. And I think they are chopping down these trees on the other side, which would be good. Because I can expand even further. Yeah. Go to work. Go to work in the smeltery. Look at him smelting away there. Copper ingots, iron ingots, mithril ingots. So we should be uh, smelting some of this copper ore into ingots. And look, herbs coming from the farm. That is quite nice. Eventually I'll need to free some people up in order to uh, make some babbies. Where's my population? There it is. Four out of six. Zero free minions. Dang. Dang. <clears throat> I guess I gotta plant some more stuff. How about... Okay, sure. Do whatever you want, then. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm just here watching. What the fuck ever. Nobody gonna listen to me anyways. Hmm, what's this little fellow up to? Are you one of mine? Are you a, a robber? Are you a bandit of some kind? Dang. It's a little bit harder to tell. Everything's changed so much, but it is fucking pretty. I will say that much. I really like what they've done with the place. It makes the game feel more rich, you know? It was a fun game before. Uh, obviously, I came back to it quite a few times, but now it's a pretty game. It's definitely deserving of the, uh, the nice aesthetic that it's been given. So I'm quite proud. Good job. Hell yes! Maybe we can make another farm. Can I, can I do this now? Cut all the trees in the area first. She's working on it, okay? Just give me some time. Really, I should uh, fire a couple people, probably. So I could upgrade. Upgrade my town with some more worker dudes. Oh. And I guess I did upgrade the building here. <laughs> I was uh, trying to see what the cost would be to upgrade it. But okay, yeah. Whatever, just do whatever you want, I guess. What the fuck? <laughs> um, should we go over to this, this town? Oh, I can't see any of this shit. That's too bad. I know there's many secrets. What secrets do you hold? Unveil your mysteries! Oh well. Maybe at some point we'll find out. <clears throat> or we might die before that point. I'm not 100% sure. Hmm. Provides food, little food and many seeds. Can I plant any of this? Are you, are you taking options? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> That's one of the problems with this game. I don't know what's happening. Let's get this fucking farm going. How about... Yeah. Hire the worker. Do the thing. Can I pick what to grow now? No. We're just gonna grow whatever we want. Okay, well, you're an asshole then. 
I'm gonna fire everybody. How's that? Everybody's fired. Now go make me a baby. Yeah. <laughs> That's how that works. That's a lot more fun than planting seeds in the ground, isn't it? <laughs> oh, look at the little baby! No longer is it a baby with a beard, but I guess that's okay. These things do happen. More work? Yep, more work. Do some fucking work. And I guess this temperature gauge means uh, this lady's feeling a little bit cold. So we should probably upgrade... Make a tailor of some kind? That would be a good idea. A well, a bath. Oh, people need a bath. Dang. That would have been a good idea. Can I make a bath over here? Yes. Put it right next to the mine. That's a good idea. Some of your people are ill. Oh, that's what that is. Well, um, I'm making a bath. Yeah, average hygiene of the settlers is dropping. Quite unfortunate, that. Hey, go to the bath. Take, take a bath now. This is your minion's hygiene. Oh god. Oh god! And she's sterile because of her terrible hygiene. <laughs> oh, it's so sad when that happens. Trading preferences changes the North Kingdom. Changes of circumstance have forced this fr faction, not fraction, to change their trading additions. Meat is more valuable for the North Kingdom now. Okay. Greetings, my lord. We're fugitive captives from the North. Please cover us. We'll be glad to work and fight for your honor. Note that the Jarl will be displeased if you help them. Well, how's the Jarl gonna find out, huh? Welcome aboard. Hopefully they're, uh, got a strong shield arm or something like that, right? Right, you guys? You guys? Right, you guys? <laughs> oh, whatever. Let's melt some ore, shall we? Yeah, that's what you need to do. Okay, it doesn't just happen automatically. <laughs> Somebody needs to come and build this fucking structure, though. You! New guy! Go build a fucking house! Wrath of the North, prepare for defense. The refugees are your subjects now. Oh god. It's largely the same. <laughs> the same old life is hard. So why do you want to please the North if they're just gonna come and fuck with you anyways? Hmm. Interesting. How do I make some... some defenses? Barracks allow me to train soldiers. Workshop to create clothes and armor. That's what I need. Oh, it looks like she's going to take a bath now. Good job, you dirty bitch! <sighs> Alright, excellent! Oh, he wants to take a bath too. You guys taking a bath together? Is that... is that... is that okay? Am I going to end up with another baby? Probably not. I got two free minions. Oh, he he's the mine guy. Yeah, he deserves a bath. He deserves some Poonan, too. Go give that guy some Poonan. He's been digging up all these stones and shit. Jesus. We got so many extra stones. How about you come up and uh, harvest some wood? Harvest some wood. Somebody harvest some wood. Anybody? Yeah. Good. Excellent. And you, um... Yeah, I don't know what you do. <laughs> I'll leave you alone for now. Just relax. Everything's fine. It's cool. Take it easy. Be young. Have fun. <laughs> hey, there we go. One, two, three, four... Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.